what's up everybody this is going to be your daily <clears throat> tarot reading for thirsty thursdays for june the 20th 2019 all right so if you guys are new to my channel welcome existing subscribers what's up welcome back um thirsty thursdays is dedicated to love energies alone just specifically love that's what we're tapping into um if you guys have any any specific um questions in regards to my readings like my personal readings you guys can always email me i prefer that you guys email me directly on walu um the walu child readings gmail or the angelic kaleidoscope 444 gmail account either or is fine i operate from both just in case you guys have questions um, or you guys would like to set up a booking date and time after your purchase. So anyone that is also interested in any of my decks, my decks are available on my website or on Etsy. You guys can um, purchase the Wild Child Readings Oracle deck the love archetypes and the Batty oracle and walu tarot as well on my website all right if you guys are interested keep in mind these readings are general they are not personal readings so if it you know if it resonates with you you'll know if it doesn't keep it moving keep it pushing use your discernment with these readings you guys all right because they're not subject to resonate with everybody all right i trust that this reading is divinely guided divinely protected Thank you to the ancestors. Thank you to the most high God. So whatever your specific love situation is, regardless if you're single, regardless if you have someone, regardless of you don't see any prospects, whatever your love situation is, I ask that the, God, that the most high God tap into the energies of those that need to hear this message and take whatever messages out of this reading apply to you, like I said before. Because not the entire reading may not resonate with you. You know, it may be bits and pieces, which, you know, it's a collective energy reading anyway. So it's not always subject to resonate with you, let alone as a full reading. All right, Spirit, what is the energies we're working with for Thursday's energy? So we got Virgo Cancer energy here, someone that has braids or dreads maybe a darker complexed person now this could be your energy or this could be someone else's energy that i'm tapping into let's see what else what other energies do we have surrounding this reading sagittarian darker complected libra so we got sagittarius libra energies cancer virgos this could be someone's sun moon risings or venus signs this could be something that took place in one of these zodiac season time frames um, we're almost coming into cancer season. Virgo will be coming up soon as well. So this could be, you know, something specific surrounding that. Doesn't have to be anyone's, um, zodiac sign or anything. But these are the zodiac signs that want to come out specifically. Anybody else on the table, spirit? Anybody else? Good man, girlfriend. Okay. The thing that sticking out. Someone that's younger, friends with benefits, a fuckboy, someone that's bisexual. These are my archetype cards, by the way, that I'm using right now. So it could be someone that you're dealing with is younger than you. You guys could be bisexual. They could be bisexual. Someone is a fuckboy, though, meaning this is like a player. Fuck girl as well. <laughs> fuckboy, fuck girl. All right. Anybody else? to call out spirit anybody else kinky curly hair girlfriends ascendant sign so any of those signs that i pulled out i think it was it was virgo cancer uh libra what else sagittarius i think was one of them this could be someone's ascendant sign that i called out this person could have curly they could have kinky hair um big hair wavy curly hair someone's girlfriend or you could be that girlfriend all right so let's tap into the overall energy
May weeks child and pregnancy. Someone is weeks away from giving birth to a baby. Soul tie. I keep getting messages about pregnancies and babies. I mean, it's an everyday occurrence. It's not anything, you know, extravagant. But there's something significant about it in this reading. So I do feel that this is piggybacking off of last the last reading. I think it was Wednesday's reading. Seven of Swords, something happened in May. Something was uncovered. Maybe there's a secret that was kept in relations to this energy. Um, with a pregnancy or children involved, weeks, someone is anticipating a childbirth. And if it's not a physical childbirth, then it could be, um, for some of you, just take the messages that stand out to you. Um, I wouldn't take this whole entire message as one reading, although it can resonate with you as one reading, but just take the bits and pieces that do, because I pick up different messages. Um, for some of you, if it's not a pregnancy, then it's some of you that's anticipating maybe like your children coming to visit you, especially if you're maybe a single parent and there's like a split custody, joint custody or something or you only see the children part-time or maybe just for the summer or something so you guys may be challenged someone is stressed out about this upcoming pregnancy because it's weeks away it's weeks away maybe you had a late may due date and it hasn't come yet and you're stressed out and it's the baby's coming soon um three days for some of you three days so I feel like spirit is telling you to focus on preparing for this arrival. If it's a child, you know, that's already here, like your children coming in to visit you or you're getting your children ready to visit someone else or um, the childbirth. For some of you, this could be giving birth to yourselves, but I'm not getting that. I'll look at another message. This is just what came out first. Forgiveness with the death card and the world card. So someone is maybe... Um, having a stressful pregnancy because of the partner that they are with the partner that they are with is causing them a lot a great deal of stress okay something may have happened this person may have ghosted the you know the person that's pregnant um the other party may have ghosted them snuck away or needed the pregnant person may have needed to get away from this other person it was too much on them and i feel with the forgiveness and the world card there may have been some miscarriages in the past with this person. So it's kind of hard to forgive and forget because I feel like someone actively hurt this other person, this pregnant person. It's like now that we finally have a child, they want the best for this child with the world and the death card. The ending to the stressful situation and ending to that dark period. The stress and the weight that this other person put and placed on them. Um... For some of you, it could have been abortions and things like that due to this in this deceptive individual, someone that was sneaky. Maybe someone didn't tell you that they had a miscarriage or that they had an abortion or something. Um, and this person snuck away, kind of kept it a secret or just went behind your back and maybe just didn't tell you they were pregnant at all. And now here they are with a child, like, you know, so... This Four of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Seven of Wands, there is a soul connection. There's a soul tie between these two people that are that have children together or that are bringing forth children. There's a lot of fire energy here. So remember, we did have Sagittarius. So this could have something to do with Sagittarian energy. But it can also be Leo and um, Aries energy. There's a lot of fire. So it could be... Um, some of you also have fire sign children. But this soul connection is that the tie to the both of you is not so much for romantic, you know, romantic purposes between the two of you. Or it may not have been built to last. It was only meant to bring in this child. For some of you, that's what I'm getting. Um, some of you are spiritual women or feminine, spiritual feminine energies that maybe stepping into your power when it comes to this and telling this person 
to kick rocks because they don't even deserve to be in your life. Some of you guys, this is giving birth to yourself. Maybe this person put you through hell, you know, made you feel like you weren't worthy of having their child or they, you know, some unforgivable things that they've done to you. And I feel if this is something you've done to someone else, um, this other person is going to tell you to kick rocks. If you guys have kids together already, this person may be keeping you away from your children. Um, I just get like a toxic situation for this first half that I'm reading for, but it is what it is. I do see someone putting their foot down and not allowing this person to have the best of, or get the best of them anymore. Could be a fire sign woman. Let's see. Any other messages? Whoa. Yes, there are other messages. <laughs> well, what is it? What do we got, Spirit? What do we got? Unrequited love. False love. Oh, Lord. Inauthentic. Divine timing. Deception. Lies and denial. Lord. All right. <clears throat> So what we got here, we got unrequited love as the overall energy, false love, un inauthentic, divine timing, deception, and lies. Spirit, what do you got to say about this energy? What is this about? Six of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. All right. Six of Pentacles, it's an unequal give and take energy, or this is what this is about. Connections with, you know, inequality. Um, not an equal give and take between partners or um, when it comes to a situation where there's feelings involved, attachments, desires, they may not be um, equal to or, you know, one person is giving more than the other. Um, this may be a pattern of some of you where you give too much and receive too little. And it's not all just the romantic. This could be with family. This could be with friends. It's just this is an energy that spirit's speaking of and with the ace of swords over false love the challenge of this is knowing and seeing the truth and admitting the truth to yourself about something because some of you guys may already know what this is about but with the ace of swords in the challenge position it's like maybe unwilling to see the truth or just unable to discern what the truth is about the situation just say for instance okay i can't tell if okay i've been in a situation like this before so it's like well, this person is not telling me no with my advances. They're not telling me to stop. They're not telling me that they're interested or they're, they're not even telling me that they're not interested. They're not telling me to stop. So usually when someone is not interested, they'll let you know they're not interested or they'll tell you, you know, um, I'm not attracted to you in a nice way or they'll tell you leave me alone or they'll tell you, you know, I'd rather just be friends or I don't see you like that, you know, you'll know when someone is just not interested in you. So it could be a thing where you're caught up in a situation where you don't know, you're not getting clear answers, or maybe this is someone else on the opposite end. When it comes to you, you're not giving them a yes or no, or clear indication of something. So it could be that for some of you, but for others, it could be blindly, honestly, not wanting to see the truth because deception lies in denial with the strength card over. It tells me like someone is having a hard time with letting go. It's a struggle or there's some sort of still pushing, having this, this inner willpower to make something, make it work, make it happen, regardless of what they're getting out of the situation or they're not getting. It's also a little bit of ego um also a little bit of manipulation and controlling nature like i'm just gonna make it happen regardless i could care less about what this other person wants or thinks i could care less about what everybody else thinks i could care less about what's happening right now i just want the outcome to be what i want it to be or i want this person to be with me whether that's you or someone else in this energy that's the conclusion of all of this is 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 it really worth the energy the effort the fight or does it come a time where you say, I'm not a failure if I back down? Inauthentic with the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel with the inauthentic, the inauthentic energy is, is that the aim that you're shooting for, it may be unrealistic. And I hate to say that. 
I don't know, that sounds kind of harsh, but it is what it is. Or someone else's aim towards you is inauthentic because it's like these people, these two people, it's like someone may be focused on something else or someone else or too many things. And it's like this other person is waiting around for this other party. Um, and it's like, because there's no clarity in this situation, it's like, well, what's the point of waiting and being patient? What are you really waiting for? And it could be that you're dealing with someone that's just giving you, feeding you false hope. Okay? Um, or this person is not giving you anything much at all. This person is focused on one pentacle. And I feel that it's, someone is waiting with this ace of pentacles here. Because this person in the eight of pentacles is focusing on one pentacle here. So, Spirit is telling you to seek the truth. Maybe you need to ask someone straight up, okay, well, what's the aim here? What's the purpose? What are your intentions with me? Sometimes you got to ask that. Like, what's the real intentions? If this person may have set some things in motion and you feel like you've been waiting for things to take off or kick off between you, or maybe someone really didn't even give you a reason to wait. It's kind of like, what are your intentions? What are you getting out of this? Because I can guarantee you somebody's getting something out of the situation, but the, someone else at the opposite end is not getting much. King of Wands and Three of Cups. So this could be a situation where someone is taking all they, they can get from whoever they can get it from. They like the attention. Someone likes the attention that multiple people bring them and offer them. You know, um, could be a fire sign male with the King of Wands. You do have the Strength card, which is a Leo energy. You have a lot of Earth energy, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Three of Cups, that's Cancer. So, it doesn't have to be any of those signs, but I do get that there could be like a master player, like, you know, they have a gift of, you know, charisma and making you feel special. Or you could be that person that's doing this. But the Five of Cups, though, it's kind of like this person is looking for fulfillment from whoever they can get it from. But, and the reason why they're not able to, there's not an equal give and take is because this person is emotionally depleted and they really don't have anything to give and to offer. The lie and the truth of this is that this person that, maybe the person that you think has the upper hand in the situation really does not. The person that may be stringing you along, if that's the case, if it's not a, a case of someone stringing you along and you're just going along for the ride because you're attracted and you want what you want, it could have been someone that just hit it and quit it and maybe they, I don't know, I'm getting all type of different situations. I'm getting that there could have been alcohol involved. You got the five of cups and the three of cups. So it could have been alcohol involved. You got the temperance card, drinking or bars or some sort of hangout maybe this person was feeding you something and you kind of strung that energy along or they strung you along or you just took that energy and you created um an expectation off of it or someone else has done this so someone's unwilling to let go they're holding on tightly to this fire sign person or a fire sign person is holding on tightly to another person, but whatever the case may be, and it doesn't have to be fire sign specifically, but for the majority of you, I feel like this is fire energy. And it's like holding on to the expectation of something and patiently waiting for something to pan out. I feel like this can borderline be easily misconstrued because it's like a person is not being completely honest and forthcoming with you and you're not even seeing like that you're not really getting anything out of the situation it may feel like it to some degree but you're really not gaining anything and it's like hard to see there's deception in this and I hate to bring this type of news but it is what it is it came out this way and I have to speak on it so if it resonates with you you know take what you will you know and do what you will with this information if it doesn't resonate with you don't take offense to it um let's see what other messages are out yeah. okay may have something more lighter 
Oh, okay. So some of you can expect a winter wedding. Some of you, it may even be, um, maybe you got proposed to, or you had some talks about marriage in the month of May, or it could be um, May of next year, December of this year, or maybe even December of next year. Some of you guys can expect a marriage. Um, and this could be a part of a reconciliation. So some of you guys will be reconciling with someone that will lead to a marriage. The challenge, the, the marriage card is in the challenge position, but let's see why. Okay. So you got two counterparts here. What do you know? The king and the queen of pentacles in the same spread. Doesn't have to be earth sign people, but it can resonate with you if you are an earth sign. But I feel like the overall energy is dependent upon this masculine energy, a masculine energy or a male energy, um, specifically a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn male energy. But this wedding or this marriage may be on hold because of someone's finances or because of some things that they need to work towards or work through. Maybe there's, um, there's trying to get the finances or be in a position of the King of Pentacles to afford this wedding with the Four of Swords. This person, in May, this person may have contemplated the situation very hard. Like, they contemplated this strongly. They meditated upon this situation, whether or not they were willing and ready. I feel like this is a situation where they're willing to step up to the plate, but there could be other factors that are kind of complicating this. With the Ten of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Hermit card with reconciliation permanently, um, it could just be that everything on the home front is fine. The Five of Cups may be that it's an individual person's issue. It has nothing to do with the other partner. This is an individual issue, and I feel like this is surrounding money being where they want to be. They could be stressing out about this wedding, stressing out about how they're going to get this together. Maybe this is something that someone has been thinking about since May. How am I going to um, do this? But the thing is, is that that some of you, if this is resonating, what you need to know is that there, yes, there will be a marriage. Yes, there will be a reconciliation permanently. But it seems like this person has to go through some sort of... Um, it's like a individual situation that this person is going through I don't feel like this has anything to do with the other partner it could also be this person is going through a spiritual process within themselves where they're preparing to be the best partner that they can be for you like they're working on themselves maybe this is a situation where you're not together if this is a situation where you are together or you live together then same thing they still have some work to do on themselves to be ready for you but nonetheless if this has not happened yet if this person has not proposed marriage to you i feel like it is going to come and the spirit may be telling you to say yes in spite of the situation there is something about needing to keep the hope and the faith in this even if it seems to be um something that you could be unwavering just kind of not sure and certain of you're doubting yourself it could be that you know but Okay, so I'm going to pull from the fortune cards and see what else wants to come out. Um, I'm thinking about doing a live tomorrow evening, maybe around 8, 8 p.m. Um, AZ time, Arizona time zone. Um, and make it a private live, like, you know, an adult content, you know, kind of like a little sexy reading. So um, if you guys are interested in joining, I'll put something up. So I might like... You know like a little reasonable um amount you know everyone can can um you know put in and then i'll i'll and email those who chipped in for the reading um i'll send them the link to the live session and then we can all join and i might open up the chat for some um personal readings you know you guys can ask your own little you know sexy little freaky deep questions you know and i could do a little free one question reading or something so if you guys are interested, I'm thinking about doing that. All right. So let's see. What else should we expect for Thursday? Any major energies? Community. Occupation. Main mail with the courthouse. So yeah, I feel 
Um, this goes back to the first message that I got that there will be some sort of justice in this. I don't know if there's a mother that's worried about, you know, her occupation, whether that has something to do with her children or something like that, whether this, because this guy seems to be pretty well off. So maybe the father or you as a father make more money, more money than the mother or something about an occupation of the mother or the lack thereof maybe they're not working at all and the court has to get involved Let's see the main female is at the bottom despair is at the top um there's a father that's stressed out about the situation more so than the woman if there is any worries for the woman it's more than likely her occupation and maybe that she doesn't make enough maybe this is a person that lives with family or friends or something in this main male um there's a little bit of stress and it could be due to the fact that this woman may win the court case who knows let's see yep unexpected income they're gonna have to pay up and this is more than likely child support but there is a concern for the woman let's see imprisonment um someone is stressed out or worried about someone going to jail over child support I'm not really getting that that's something that someone should worry about, but someone is going to get some money out of this child support case. I think this was tapping into the first reading that I did. Let's see what else. Poverty, imprisonment, marriage. Yeah, see, again, this is <laughs> courtship. Someone's partner is going through a stressful situation with finances. You know, they feel like they're in a financial bind and it's like this marriage, this wedding is coming up and I want it to be the best that it can be. So they're stressed out about it or they're two step, they're too ahead in the game. Like they're too focused on what the future is going to hold and they're focusing on lack more so than how things are going to work out. And it may not even be as bad as this person is making it out to be coffin with a courtship. So... Someone needs to put the end to their worries, but it can also be like there's a lot that's happening. Like there could have been a death in the family. Maybe someone had to pay for funeral expenses and it's like this couldn't have come at a worse time or planning for a wedding. Um, maybe this wedding is tied into the court case with the child support and someone is afraid like that's going to affect something for them. I'm just getting all types of energies. Let's see. A message. Someone will be receiving a message from a man. It could be a male of importance. Someone is expecting to hear from a man because you have expectation, message, main male. So there's a message or a letter that someone is expecting. Maybe this is someone um, that you haven't heard from in a while. Unexpected income. It could be about some money. Message of concern came out again. Unexpected income. So the, the message that you could be expecting or waiting could be from someone in regards to um, a check or some sort of court settlement. You do have official person in the back. So this could be like the government, a government official or something like that. You're waiting to hear what the results or the outcome or what the ruling was or something like that or you know that money is coming but you're just waiting to hear back or how much when and all of that so take the messages that resonate is there anything else spirit that wants to come out i feel like you will be hearing back it's like it's just a matter of when for some of you and for some of you you guys may be waiting to hear back you're expecting to hear from a man or a masculine lover or something like that. And this could be someone from your past. Halfway in poverty. Family room. False person. And privileged lady. <sighs> Sudden wealth. With child. Yeah, see again. If you are a man... In a financial bind with another woman um, be mindful that this person there is some something up her sleeve I feel if she's trying to get over on you when it comes to money like she she's already taken care of and it's not that you shouldn't take care of your children but there's something faulty about her request financial request um, if this is a woman that I'm speaking to and you're not 
doing anything sneaky or deceptive. You could be dealing with a man that's making false promises towards you. Um, this could be like something about what they have, what they have to offer and give you. And I'm not just speaking of materialistically, although that could be part of it. But this is a person that has a gambling problem for some of you, or this is a person that may just there's something about this person that's very faulty they they look well they dress well they have it all together on the surface but underneath the surface this person doesn't they're poor meaning this person is poor spiritually or they just don't have something to offer or this person doesn't have what they say they have it's like almost like false promises or something like that this person may be telling you they want to start a family with you or they want you to meet their family be very careful of this person um, although with the pathway card, it is your choice what you decide and it is meant for you to meet this person. It was meant for you to come across this individual, but just be mindful. Yeah, with gift. Be very mindful of this uh, giving person because it's a falseness with it. And I say this, you got the number 17, which is eight in numerology and false person card is number eight. So you have to be very mindful and careful of whoever this person is. And when I think of number 17, it also makes me think of the star card, which is hopes and dreams and being optimistic and things like that. And this could be something from a distance, someone from a distance. You just have to be careful. Um, and I'm not getting like careful in a, a scary way. It's just being more careful, being full of care of yourself, occupation. This could have something to do with someone you work with. This could be false promises with business and all of that. Just be mindful, you guys. That's what I'm getting. I'm not going to get too much into that. Um, yeah, so if this reading resonated with you, feel free to like, um, hit the thumbs up on this. Share it with someone that you feel like it may resonate with or someone that may need to hear this message. Also, if you guys um, would like to purchase a personal reading don't forget to check the description box below for more information um on my readings if you guys have a question email me directly and possibly i will be doing the um adult friendly reading tomorrow i will more than likely go live privately so if you guys would like to join i will probably have like a small little amount nothing too big or anything like that probably five dollars or less or something like that and um, open the chat up for um, free one question readings or whatever. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Much love as always. Take care. Peace.